Hello everyone. Investrans Research is back again. Today we are going to do sectoral analysis and the sector which I have picked up is pharma sector. Uh, the reason for picking pharma sector is because a lot of people keep on asking me regarding the pharma sector and its stocks because people were quite bullish past so many years uh, taking consideration of pharma sector because a lot of companies doing so good stocks doing so good and also uh, the business of pharma sector that India will boom because of pharma sector the company is doing a lot of exports in US and other foreign markets as well so let's 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 see what the technical charts show us about the pharma sector and its stocks so let's go to the charts okay okay this is the chart for nifty pharma okay it's a sectoral chart of nifty pharma this is a weekly chart let's go to the daily charts so what do we see here in daily charts is from past from year 2015 uh, the pharma has been making lower tops Be before that before that you can see from 2007-2006 onwards the pharma was quite uh, going bullish and really had a very good uptrend but uh, but a lot of things happened in 2015, 2016, and 17. Still, there are a lot of things that's happening. So, so the reason because uh, the reason the show the chart shows uh, it's falling is because you know a lot of pharma companies are dependent upon a lot of US FDA approvals, which really means uh, I'm talking a bit fundamental here because uh, what it really means is that all its medicines which is develops all its plants uh, whatever machineries they use whatever hygiene parameters they use whatever uh, you know all medical level or pharmaceutical level standards has to needs to be followed by those pharma com companies in india if they need to sell medicine in us and other foreign markets so a lot of these approvals and visits from US uh, officials takes place in this plant and a lot of results and observations come come into conclusion that okay this this plant is not good this plant is good this medicine we give approval with this medicine does not give an approval so certain news is just impact this uh, this companies and this sector a lot so you need to be very 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 high end uh, uh, person to understand all this news to get into uh, fund get into fundamentally into pharma sector and invest money into pharma sector but technically uh, obviously the if uh, if you are investing from past 2007 or 6 and it is continuously making higher bottoms and higher tops higher bottoms and higher tops so this was the point when it made an higher top and you could have taken out your money here because it uh, here because it made a same bottom here the, which means that it the trend has changed the trend the trend what what signifies the trend has changed that when it was making continuous bottoms here and it made a lower bottom and in, it didn't really make a high made a higher bottom here so that means the trend has changed so everything uh, what i have said uh, the fundamentally thing fundamental things which uh, uh, affect the pharma sector uh, you can get, get 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 to look into charts so kind of it followed it touched the 200 day moving average and gone up and again it was moving sideways till 2006 15 end and then again it started declining because a lot of uh, again usfd approvals and other things did affect the pharma sector a lot so it continuously started going down the trend is still down you can see so so it, it continuously made lower bottom lower bottom lower bottom lower bottom and lower tops lower top lower top lower top lower top and again a lower top and now when again it made uh, a lower bottom here people might suggest that the trend might have changed and good news are coming in pharma yeah this uh, this could be the could this could be the case but uh, the thing is that what you would conclude that it is a trend changing time for pharma sector is when it will make an higher bottom here 
higher bottom here and close at this this point and then it will again start going up then you can say that it is a trend changing time for pharma sector but till this time uh, and again a question where should you be an investor in pharma you can be but again you can be hit by volatility any time any month like see is please uh, look at this this area right so in the in the end of may something bad happened to pharma sector and look at look at the index falling all the way from 10000 to 8600 1500 points down within no time i i it i think when i was tracking this i i was i was tracking this every day so it took around uh, one week's time for for pharma index to fall to one by 1500 points and it took almost what 10 to 15 days to again get back to 9600 levels thousand points up so it kind of uh, was buying on dips and selling here but this was the very very low point of pharma sector which was way before in 2014 so people might have been a buyer here because you might you will be getting the stocks very cheaper so so my my point my point of view right now i'll i'll wait for the pharma sector trend to change whether i'll be stock specific yes i'll be stock specific at, at the point if the if the stock is giving me return i will look at the trend at the sh ultra short term trend of uh, pharma sector which is currently up right now and i wouldn't have invested at this point of time if if i have seen that there's a <clears throat> dark cloud cover a candle which has covered the body of uh, the red candle and it made a hammer here and i can see that the trend is going up and looking at the rsi that it is very much oversold right now so i could have invested okay that things are quite cheap here because the traders perspective is to buy cheap and sell higher so let's uh, look at the look at few stocks of pharma sector I'll just open this thing in chart book let's get stock specific this is Aurobindo Auro Pharma let's go to this is a weekly chart let's go to daily chart of orinda pharma so what do we see here obviously orinda pharma is a good stock past 2007 it was quite sideways from 2014 it has start moving up quite a good uptrend then went down quite moving sideways and making continuously making lower 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 bottoms and lower tops and now if you concentrate here on the uh, what i was uh, telling you in the nifty pharma chart whether it will be a trend changing or not or when it will be a trend changing parameter so when or in the pharma when it when it was making continuously higher lower bottom lower bottom lower bottom lower top lower top lower top and suddenly after lower 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 bottom it has broken from the previous lower top so it has made a higher top right now so that means that things are changing for Aurinda Pharma and this this large LRC long range candle green candle suggests that there were a lot of buying here in Aurinda Pharma and also this LRC again here suggests that the trend is changing so looking at the moving averages moving averages doesn't give a lot of sense here because it's flaring right now and the moving averages that is flaring of uh, it's like reversion to mean phenomena the when the moving averages where uh, will be bundling up it will kind of become a resistance for auto pharma okay but till the time the moving averages are flared up right now and if if it is too bullish and when this kind of bunching will happen and it breaks this bunch it will go up further up okay so you can be a buyer here uh, at the time because uh, because there are a lot of bullish news that might be hitting this stock and a lot of things might be happening in or in the pharma so let's let's look at other stocks of uh, pharma 
Lefty Pharma we have covered. Let's look at Cadilla. Cadilla also you can see Cadilla is quite a bullish stock. It's a good stock. I can say that uh, quite a sideways trend from 2016-2015 and when the pharma sector started declining and it kind of moved sideways didn't really turn out to be so bad because it didn't really made the lower bottoms and further lower bottoms but it made same bottoms kind of sideways pattern and it's again started going up so you can say that the trend has trend has changed because it has broken out this uh, this top and it made it as a bottom so this resistant level resistance level became a support level so this is a support and this is a support so trend really has changed again when it came to this level it has broken right uh sorry it it kind of uh, gave a support and the stock went up right so plus rsi is at uh, overbought level uh, we should have been a buyer here and uh, likewise i have said that with this bunching whenever the bunching happens and if it breaks the bunch breaks the moving averages bunching the stock is very bullish after that right because all the moving averages uh, is bunched up means lot of buyers are gonna get into the stock let's look at cipla cipla again a sideways stock uh, after 2015 it changes trend made downward downward still not a good good time to invest because it's kind of reaching uh, okay it again made a same bottom went up the moving averages bunching became a resistant level and it it has started going down so not a good time to buy cipla right now so you need to wait for it let's look at divi's lab Divi's Lab again a side uptrending stock and since 2015-16 it has gone down 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 not a good stock to buy right now but you can obviously invest later point of time Dr. Reddy's also same story since 2015 started going down 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 so so this is what is pharma sector right now it was trending down but uh, you have to wait for the trend to change in pharma sector because it's a good sector good uh, very heavily weighted sector here but uh, yeah you have to wait for the right time to invest glaxo glaxo same 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 story same story uh, going down so this is what this is why the reason this is the reason why you know i'm quite uh, uh, bearish about pharma sector and not so bullish because i was at a certain point of time but not right now so other stock lupin lupin same story so my consideration would be you can consider auto pharma and cadillac uh, at this point of time and not the other stocks because it will be very difficult for you to get out of the stocks if uh, if you get stuck and it is right now currently down trending so sun pharma again same story the all the fall that happened at at the nifty pharma was because of also sun pharma because it it had gone down you can also check the stock of glenmark pharma which also made a very huge fall at this point of time when sun pharma was also making this was this is very bearish sign the gap up means that there's a lot of bad news and company is not doing so good so the stock is falling the stock is all the way falling from 1000 rupees to 500 and 600 rupees is not a good news for any company okay so this was the analysis from my end uh, for the pharma sector you can please uh, if you have any queries please uh, get back to me on this and uh, uh, there's a there's a pro trader course that is coming up uh, how you can be a pro trader uh, it's a it's a complete web series it's free of cost you can ask questions you can go through the series and become pro trader we are always there to help you so meantime please uh, follow our facebook page investrants research and please subscribe to our youtube channel investrants research and if you have any queries please uh, write to me on investrants research at gmail.com or you can also ask questions on Facebook. We will be posting lots of charts there. And also please do like, share, subscribe. And also you can post your uh, questions on the comment sections of the YouTube channel as also. Thank you very much. Thanks again. See you soon.